Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And uh, today I'll be showing you how to create maps in uh, Google Map. So uh, just go ahead and open your Google Chrome web browser and make sure that you are already uh, logged into your Google account. And so on your at the top of your uh, Google Chrome web browser, on the right hand side, uh, Hope you're able to see this sunburn or the this icon. It's called Google App icon. Just go ahead and click it, and then uh, just choose Maps. Alternatively, you can just uh, type in the into the search uh, search bar. You can just type in Google Maps. And click Enter. And then choose the first uh, link that's uh, will take you directly to the google maps so in order to create uh, maps in a google map first thing you need to do is to click on this uh, uh, menu uh, this menu icon i hope you can be able can be able to see this uh, my mouse or my cursor then just go ahead and click and uh, what we're interested in is uh, choose your places. Just go ahead and click places. And then uh, you'll be able to see this uh, uh, this window. The, this window will be overlaid on the uh, the map. And we have uh, three or four tabs. The first one is the list and uh, it contains by default it contains uh, four options that's favorite uh, travel plans want to go start the second one is label and not going to go into details about these ones the other one is uh, visit shows the places that uh, have been able to visit uh, recently and the last one is maps so you're going to choose these maps and that's what we're going to use to create uh, maps. So, uh, in order to create maps, you can just go ahead and uh, create maps at the bottom of the list under uh, the map maps tab. You should be able to see this uh, link that says create map. Just go ahead and click it. That uh, will be. It now uh, be able to open uh, this particular uh, map or Google map. So on the left hand side, you'll be able to see this uh, 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 this window, and uh, this is where you now be able to create your uh, maps. So the first thing you need to do is to search the place that you want to. Or your area of interest where you want to create your map i'm just going to type in my area of interest and then so as you type in uh, the area that you're interested in will be able to pop up just go ahead and uh, click that so Now, if you want to create a point, uh, let's say I want to uh, specific, I want to create a point for a specific, uh, uh, for a specific feature. And let me just type in the So if I type in Vision Villa, it gives me this particular icon. So I can have the power to change uh, these uh, properties of this particular icon. Just go ahead and uh, first of all, I'm just going to cancel that. Let me uh, uh, let me go ahead and type in again. Mm -hmm. 
So if I type in my uh, the vision villa, this is the is an apartment, and uh, I'm interested in creating a point uh, on this particular apartment. So in order to add an icon, just go. You should be able to see uh, this add to map under this uh, pop-up window. So just go ahead and click add to map, and then I'm not interested in this uh, all these details. So I'm just going to remove, but you can choose to leave it as it is. At the bottom of the pop-up window, you should also be able to see the coordinates of this particular area. So I'm just going to remove that. And uh, just going to change the icon. So in order to change the icon, uh just choose this uh, particular icon that says styles and uh you can browse for more icons so this is uh, a building it's an apartment so i'm just going to choose uh an icon that represent a building so i'm just going to choose not with that's a museum just going to choose this one then okay and i'm going to change the color so so i'm going to leave it as it is then uh, yes so uh this uh I've uh, successfully added uh, an icon or a point so I'm going to give this uh, map a tie a name I'm going to give it a name under description uh, I can just type in anything uh just a brief de description so then you can just choose to save so this uh you can you can choose if you want to so this is your icon you have already added the icon you can also choose to in order to, to edit just click on this that particular icon and uh, you can choose to edit you can add more about this particular so you can just say this up an apartment So it's an apartment along a uh, railway station and save. And again, uh, you can choose to add uh, a picture. So I'm just going to choose, uh, just going to add random picture, not necessarily uh, a picture of this uh, particular building just going to for demonstration purposes so i'm just going to show you how you can add an image or a picture so uh, let me uh so i have some some photos in my computer uh, Let me choose uh, this particular 
image so let me choose that uh, so the picture that i'm just uploading uh, is not related to uh, this particular apartment it's just for demonstration purposes if you click save uh, so if you click on that image if you click on that icon that you've just added like so you should be able to see uh, the image and the description of that particular uh, point feature so and uh, so i forgot to add the name of that particular uh, point so in order to do that just click the the layer so then just add a name and click save so now you have uh, your point saved and uh, again you can add a root you can uh, simply digitize a root so let me go ahead and uh, add a root in order to do that just go ahead and click this particular icon and uh, click draw line so so the line that i'm going to draw is going to represent a jogging track uh, so let's assume that uh, this is the place that uh, i reside and i want to uh, draw the uh, jogging track so so i'm just going to digitize manually digitize the root So I'm going to give it a name. And uh, a small description. So click save and I'm going to uh, change the style, give it red and then I can just choose to increase the width of the line. And uh, if you look keenly on this particular pop-up uh, window, it's actually giving me the, the, uh, the distance of that particular jogging track. So for this case, it's about 1.55 kilometers. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, my jogging track. Again, uh, now, uh, so this, uh, we decided that this, this is my res uh, area of residence, and I need to know uh, where. I want to uh, to check the direction from this particular uh, area of uh, residence to nearby hospital. So in order to do that, I'm going to add direction. So so just uh, add direction, and uh, so and uh, you can choose uh, the mode of transport. First of all, let us give it a name. Oh, sorry. So let me just uh, give it an 
let us first of all remove edit that so just uh, click on that uh, point this one the one that we've already added click on that and then under these uh, five icons you can see this one is for style edit uh, image direction and delete if you want to delete at uh, this particular feature you can simply click this one but now you want direction from here just click direction and now another windows has been uh, added so you want uh, direction from this vision villa to uh, let's say uh, as st john's hospital so I just type yeah, start typing in so and uh, it's already given you the title so it's the direction from uh since john's hospital to my area of residence and i can actually add another destination let's say i want to add another route to uh let's say a church like Befa. so this is another direction from my area of residence to uh kimbo pefa church this uh the church and uh, you can actually uh edit i'm just going to Move that guest house to Pepper Church. Like that. So let's say I want to edit this particular, uh, we want to add a polygon. So if you want to add a polygon in a Google Map, uh, there's no uh, uh, symbol that we for editing or the shows uh, a polygon but you, you can simply use this drawing uh, a draw line and then you close as you close it it will actually it will, it will automatically detect that uh, that's a polygon so let's j just go ahead and add another uh, layer for that or just let me remove this let me delete that and uh, you're going to add a line so let's say you want to digitize this uh it's a it's a mother youth sports association this one so you're just going to, to digitize and uh, So we're going to give it a name. like that then uh, i don't need to give it a description just click save and as, as you can see uh it, 
it will give you the uh, total acreage that's uh, 1.21 hectares and the perimeter is, uh, is uh, approximately 456 meters so let's just go ahead and uh, you can choose to edit if you want to yeah and you can style let's say the polygon transparency yeah, you want to that's around 30 percent transparency you can increase the width of the border like that then uh, so now you have a simple map and that's how you create a map in a google map so in order to save uh, this particular map you, or in order to share the purpose of creating such a uh, google map is to share with your colleagues let's say your yeah, students or the people you're working with your colleagues so in order to do that uh, there's this under uh, your map under the map that, that you've just created you have add layer and then the second one is, is share and you have preview so if you're interested in sharing with the colleagues just click share and uh, under share you'll see this uh, pop-up window uh, you can choose to uh, activate this icon that says uh, share the map with anyone with this link so just make sure that you click that particular uh, button and you can also uh, choose to let people or let other people search for and find uh, that particular map on the internet so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to share it on my google drive so after sharing uh, i can choose to add uh, uh, people that i want let's say on uh, this particular person to uh, get or to uh, share or to access this map they just be able to type in the email or the name of that particular person and i can able to restrict either to let uh, that person uh, just view the map or i can let him or her to add some changes on that map so uh, just click send and uh, the map I've seen I've been uh, sent so if I now go ahead and open let me go ahead and uh, open So now you can see uh, this person has received my uh, map. So if I go ahead, open the 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 email. Now you can see that this person received my map. Let's go ahead and open the map, and you can see this is the map that uh, we shared. Uh, so that's the end of uh, this tutorial uh, so kindly uh, remember to subscribe give this uh, video a like and uh, make sure uh, you click on the notification bell thank you so much uh, see you in the next tutorial